Um, disease, there are disease specific differences as there are in all the phases, but in phase three, cancer may require endpoints like overall survival or progression free survival versus just things like tumor shrinkage, uh, especially now with this new FDA regime. So again, it's 2025 for those watching in the future. They are adamant that they want to see overall survival for oncology and they want to see progression free survival. Now, a lot of oncology trials are, are granted um, provisional approval after a successful phase two, especially if it's for an unmet need in oncology. So usually a, a last line treatment, metastatic. There's individuals that really need that medication, so they open it up for phase three, but it's provisional approval, meaning only through the trial, and they may take that away if the phase three data does not line up. So what does that data look for in oncology studies? Overall survival, how long do the people live? And progression-free survival, how long until the disease worsens? Now, in non-oncology studies, what are they looking for? If there's already existing treatments on the market, they're looking for an improvement.